Hey, welcome back to the fourth video in the building a blog with Tailwind series. In this video, I'm going to be building a footer. In the final product, the footer looks like this. If we look on the current version, there's no footer other than some text. I've already written the markdown, I just need to style it and I'm going to show you how to do that. Before I start, I just want to point out that I'm using Meraki UI. These are starter templates that are open source. You're free to use them. I'll leave a link in the description below. They're really great. We're going to be using this one here. Now, this means that I didn't actually build it from scratch. What I did was I took this and adopted it to work in my blog. Uh, I did have some alignment issues and some sizing issues with width. So I'm going to show you how I built it to make it look correct. So I guess we can get started. This is where we're starting from. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's completely misaligned and not styled at all. If we look inside the code, this is the mark down here. So I've just wrapped it in a big footer section. We could actually start there. So I decided to make everything text gray 100 and make the background gray 800. Now, if we refresh the page, we can see that it's already full width, which is exactly what we need. But this is where I ran into some issues and I had to kind of rewrite it. I've decided to make every component max width 3XL on my blog. And so I got to, I have to stick to that here. And I've also decided to center everything. So MX Auto is also, MX Auto also has to be used. And I wanted to give a top bottom padding of six. So right off the bat, this is what it looks like. And it already looks much closer to the footer, uh, much closer to a footer in general, not just the footer in the final product. If we continue on, we should have to style this heading tag. And I decided to um, leave it the way Meraki did it. So it would be text center, text LG. And when the breakpoint is large or greater or hits the large breakpoint or greater, and we're going to use text to Excel. So on my computer, it's going to be to Excel. And that's what that looks like. It's a nice little call to action. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to be using it for, but it's really, really nice looking footer. Moving on, we have to actually style the form input. And this is one of the trickiest things with Tailwind and probably with any with any styling framework out there. I left this one pretty close to what Meraki offers as well, because I thought it was really good looking. But uh, I made a couple little minor tweaks. In any case, I started off by styling the outer div as flex, justify center, and I'll give it a margin top of six to space it out. And that looks like that. This div inside here is gonna be background white and rounded MD. So as you can see, the, the background here extended around. And this div in here is gonna be flex, flex wrap, justify between, and when it's medium or greater, flex row which means that it's gonna be flex wrap on uh, breakpoints smaller than medium, and then it's gonna be flex row. So that looks like that. I mean, nothing's changed. Now for the inputs, this is where things, like I said, get tricky sometimes. So I'm gonna make a margin all around of one, padding all around of two, appearance none. You can save that and take a look. It's already looking much, much closer to uh, a form input. And then we're gonna use text gray 700 text SM and on focus we're gonna add an outline none because browsers do add this ugly blue outline that we want to kind of avoid and we're gonna add a placeholder transparent on focus as well we refresh looks the same but if we focus you can see that if we focus on here there's no outline there's there's no blue outline like there is on the button now we get to style the actual button itself. And to do that, we're gonna use width full, margin of one all around, padding of two all around, text SM, background gray of 800, rounded, font semi-bold, make it all uppercase, which we can do with Tailwind. And when it's large, make width auto, and on hover, make it background gray 700. Let's refresh. Looks like we forgot to make it a colon instead of a dash. If we refresh, that looks exactly like what we need. I always find this cool, so you can type in your email here and click subscribe. And now we have basically the HR to style, which we can do height of one PX, one pixel, margin top of six, background gray 700, so it's a little bit more muted, and border none. Let's see what that looks like. So it gave it a little bit of margin up top and it's made it the the actual color of it gray. And so it's a little bit more muted, but it's, it's just the right amount of subtle. And now the last section is the div where the 
name and the footer links are contained. So they have to be spread to opposite sides of the div, but the div has to be the full width of that max three XL container. And the way we do this is basically by starting with flex, flex column items center justify between which will ascend these two inner divs to op opposite ends of the containing div margin top of six and then when the viewport is at medium or larger in, in terms of width we're going to use flex row instead of flex column because flex column will stack these two inner divs and flex row will put them side by side which means that we will have justify between put them at opposite ends of this containing div and it'll look exactly like our example and so if we just refresh here we'll see that they are on opposite ends so basically what's left now is just to style the link tags to make the text look nice we can start here with this one very simple text excel so extra large font bold text gray 100 and we're going to make it a little bit darker on hover just give it a nice effect so as you can see the the hover does work and these three are going to be the same so we're going to style them first so let's grab this px4 text sm text gray 100 font medium hover text gray 400 let's see what that looks like much closer to what the final version is like cool and we are missing a little bit here so flex flex mt4 which means flex and then margin top of four and then when we're at medium breakpoint or larger on the viewport in terms of width we're going to make all margin all around so left right top bottom to zero we'll see what that looks like this will make fixes for uh, mobile stuff and then the last final, final touch that I have to add is negative margin left and right of four. And if we refresh, nothing changes other than a little bit of spacing here. But if we do look at the mobile view, and I zoom out a little bit, we can see that the footer still looks great. And even the subscribe button centers, so it's perfect. So this is exactly what we were looking for. I might actually add some padding on this content here. So if the viewport is mobile and it's small, I might add a little padding here so it's not right on the edge of the browser. But other than that, this is, this is done. So the next and final video is actually going to be me packaging this up into a Laravel Wink project and deploying it to Cloudways. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please do consider subscribing. It's a huge help. And I hope to see you in the next one.